Hello, my name is Antonio Martinez and I belong to the Camille Research Group from the Department of Applied Linguistics at the Universidad Politécnica de Valencia. Today we are going to focus on how to write a report. A report is commonly and academically defined as an account or a statement of a judicial opinion or decision, or as a usually formal record of the proceedings of a meeting or session. In the case of our context, we normally write, uh, write a report when we want to do one of the following things. To inform about a particular topic or about the state of a particular issue, to clarify something, to examine a given problem or issue and suggest a practical solution, to describe something and provide useful recommendations. Uh, report writing is considered as a very important skill for our professionals, so knowing, knowing how to write them is going to help you a lot in the future. A report is always written in an, in an attempt sorry, to achieve some objective. That's why you have to identify the objective or topic you're going to address. Let's focus now on ways to organize the information. You should always state clearly at the beginning what your report is about. The report should be organized to communicate clearly the main idea first and then you can add or provide the supporting details. The information presented in a logical order uh, should go from the general contents to the specific details. The report should state the conclusions clearly and where appropriate give the readers information to help them make decisions if they have to do so. Uh, bearing in mind your, your report. As for the tone or style, information should be presented as objectively as possible. If you want to add your opinion, you have to use some expressions such as in my opinion, from my point of view, as far as we are concerned. So if you add your opinion, you have to make it clear. A good report will not merely describe, but also analyze and evaluate. You should also strive for quality, precision and accuracy. When you write a report, your, your discourse must be logically organized, making sure your discussion flows logically from the evidence. You can write a draft and then you can develop your uh, full sentences from the first key ideas. Your language has to be formal and you have to use linking words and structures uh, to uh, make the discourse more cohesive and coherent. Get rid of those sentences or ideas that could be unclear. And once you have finished, you can write your whole report and, uh, well, you can do it preferably uh, aloud. And when you do that, if you detect that it sounds unclear to you, that means that it could also sound unclear uh, to your audience. Bear in mind what the main purpose of your report is going to be, in order to emphasize in more or less detail one section or another. You should always bear in mind and consider what your intended, intended audience will be, that is, the needs of the readers. This is going to affect, for example, how much background information needs to be provided, the choice of vocabulary, the degree of detail, the tone, the emphasis, etc. If you are going to convey technical information to a non-technical reader, you have to pay special attention to the use of some specific words and consider that some ex extra details could be required. In the following slide we are going to see a list of common sections. However, you have to bear in mind that the order of those sections can change and that some of them could be irrelevant depending on the type of report. This is the list. We should start with an introduction uh, through which we would mention the, the purpose for which it is written some previous expectations, a brief summary of the main points, what the report is going to tell, etc. Then we could provide a description, expectations, contrast ideas, the methodology we are going to use, some comments on the findings or a detailed uh, section for comments on those findings, uh, some recommendations and the conclusion section which is uh, compulsory. In that section, you can include a brief summary of the main points in order for the audience to see at a glance the, the gist of the, of the report's most, most remarkable ideas. If you have used external sources, you have to add uh, a reference list. And finally, you can add an appendix or appendices. 
You should always keep the details included as logical, clear and simple as possible. You can of course use graphs. This is very common when writing a report. If you do that, you have to offer an analysis of its different components and relate them to the main topic being dealt with. The report is a speech. It's very frequent, very common. Uh, as we have to bear in mind that uh, we are making reference to something that someone else had said, mentioned, considered or agreed before. The evaluation task is very, it's very practical, it's very useful to you. You can do it if you want to improve your, your skills. That's why you should try to find reports on the internet that could be related to your field of interest. And then you should adopt a critical and methodological point of view seeing if most of the aspects expected to be found in those reports are, going, are covered sorry, by the structure of the evaluated report. This is the point when you should think of a topic you would be interested in, for example, aerospace engineering, and then you could click on the link, on the following link. If you do that, you will find a very long report, and this is just an introduction to that report. As the UK's only hub airport, our interest is in enhancing the economic benefits that contained Heathrow provides, while minimising our impact on local communities and the environment. This briefing sets out our approach to managing noise, supplementing the data in Heathrow's 2009 Sustainability Performance Summary and FEU1 reports, available at www.heathrow.com. Thank you, Marcia. As you can see in this very brief introduction, we already have mentioned the interest of the report. We have also included a summary of the main uh, objectives and also a summary of the approach. This is a list with uh, some other sections this report uh, comprises. And these are the questions we could ask ourselves when we are evaluating a report. Does the title or abstract make sense? Is it effective or eye-catching? Are all the relevant questions answered in the introduction? Is the overall structure of the different sections meaningful? Are the technical sections understandable? Are the figures or tables explained properly? Is the terminology clear? Are the symbols used defined appropriately? Are the results explained properly? Are the conclusions drawn from the graphs or tables sound, or are there holes or flaws? Do the results show how the work presented is better or worse than the other cases of comparison? Excellent. Now we compile some of the steps we have to take if we want to write a good, uh, a good report. You have to prepare your reading list, making sure you find out all the information and sources you, uh, that you need. Then, after collecting your information, you can also consider interviewing or talking to people who can know about that topic or, or who can be involved in that topic. Uh, write your report, then you write your conclusions and recommendations, always bearing in mind uh, your audience. This is a list with some of the websites we have used uh, for this presentation, and you can check them and some others. Thank you very much.